It's really about you know utilizing the assets that the valley has and, mm -hmm. and nourishing them, and that's human resources. And I, I just wanted to add about Healthy Valley now, right. as we talked about the Healthy Valley process sure. historically. That over the last few years, they've really looked at the valley's environmental resources, which are very rich, and so they've been involved in the local efforts to get a river heritage designation. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. Nash, you know, from the national government mm -hmm. and and also kind of more broadly helping people appreciate the natural resources right. and the historical resources of the valley. So they you know they have a bus tour that's very oh, wow. popular and various things like that to really draw on the rich resources. Yeah, that the Connecticut valley has. has there's a bike bike trail efforts and things like that. There's the Connecticut Trails program where they set up, I guess they have almost like passports where you can punch in at different stops mm -hmm. along the way and, and go in and you can combine that with the river walk which goes along the river. And in fact, when I interviewed the Naugatuck Economic Development Board, they basically mentioned how there's a river race every year and this year I was able to go down. They told me this fabulous location right along the river and you know, kayakers and canoers going by. It was a gorgeous day for the river race and it ends, it goes from Waterbury, or just about Waterbury, Naugatuck down to Beacon Falls and they have big you know, fair there with music and vendors, and then they, they do a duck race there, which you know a lot of towns now do a duck race you know, in the river and things like that. So that's a good point. You've got state parks, local parks, all over every town has you know many different ways to, to enjoy the community, be outside, you know, be active.